Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video is about the Radio Master Express LRS modules. They have sent me all three of them. Now it includes the full size module. There we go. The micro and the nano one which I've got connected to my zero radio. Now all of these modules go up to one watt. Well, except for the full size one which you can go into Run us, uh, uh, go into the program and change it to 2 watts which is obviously pretty excessive. But let's take a look at all of them. So they all do the, basically the same thing except for obviously the external module or the full size module you've got an OLED screen on there but we'll get back to that. But let's have a look at the micro and the nano modules they're both there. So these plug this one can plug straight into your JR Bay of your radio and you will control it by Lua script on the radio. Now, obviously, uh, they, I think Futaba radios um, cannot run the Lua scripts. So you would need to buy this version to be able to run on your Futaba radio if you wanted to run Express LRS. So we've got the, the micro and then we've got the nano. And as I say, these are all controlled by the Lua script and they can go up to one watt. They've got cooling fans in both of them and they also have a USB C there and on this one too and you've also got an um, uh, XT30 so that you can input I think it's up to uh, 4S batch uh, 4S voltage because obviously this this unit if it was running at one watt would run the batteries down in these these tiny batteries down in the Zuro pretty quickly um, so let's have a look at the the full size unit now this is really interesting let's see if I can get this to focus you see this box here now this box can be swapped out to this one now basically if I just show you there carefully you'll see there's one two three screws and those screws same as this one you can change this over so you therefore can put this on your into your JR bay or you could plug it if you really want the full size unit you could plug it into your Zura radio as well. The full size unit comes with this little cable and as I mentioned that's I'm not sure if we're going to be able to focus on that there we go this is a Futaba cable this allows you I've got a Futaba radio to be able to do this to be able to connect this unit to this uh, module to your Futaba radio so that you could use it on, 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 the, on that radio. All of the modules come with this T style antenna which allows you to have good range on either side. Here you might have a, a slight problem if your drone comes up to the, the, the knoll here. But you can also get this directional antenna here. They, you, can, you can buy this one and that will give you a more directional um, signal which I would presume is for, for long range. Now let's take a look at the OLED screen on the full size module. And I'm going to try and get this. Now you see that the screen is off. If I tilt back, you can now see the screen has come on. Now so that's when you're flying, it will turn off automatically. And that's the accelerometer. So if we now push the button, so I'm just going to be a bit tricky because I'm doing this backwards. If I hold that down, oops, a bit more. There we go. And you can see we can change all the settings. Motion. Now on the motion setting, that would actually turn the transmitter down. So if you were on full power, I'm not sure if it turns it off or it puts it to the lowest setting if you put your radio down. But that gives you some idea. And we've got the buttons here that we can also program those buttons. And you can see the this is where the fan is. And of course, I'm only on 25 milliwatts. so. It's uh, the fan isn't coming on. All three modules have a packet rate of a maximum of 1000 hertz and they all three also have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. The main advantage of this obviously it's got an external case and it's made of uh, aluminium I presume it's aluminium so it, the heat dissipation would be really good with this that's why it can go up to two watts the other two units can't. So, and you can see, because I've not got it plugged into a radio, it's gone into Wi-Fi mode. So you could link this up to your computer. Let me just pop this down. So, in summary, this is great. And what I like the idea of is for my drones, I would, this is the 4-in-1 Zura radio. And with the 
micro unit on the back. That means I can fly all the drones, any drones that I've got that have got uh, the older receivers and I can go to Express LRS. So I think this to me, like personally, is a really great drone setup, this one. But with the bigger radio, the TX16S, with this one here, so this will give you the best, I, I, I don't know why, but I prefer to fly bigger planes, the uh, fixed wing planes with this and the drones with the Zura radio. So you've got this, obviously you've got this high power outfit, which I don't think many people are going to need. Maybe if you were flying the drone in bandos, you would like that, you know, the uh, signal penetration because you can whack the power right, right up. But I don't think many of us are going to use the, the uh, full power of this. But of course, it's like anything, it's nice to have it. So, and I'm impressed with the build quality of, of this. It feels, because it's heavy, it feels uh, a, a solid piece of kit, but only time will tell of the um, of how reliable these these tra uh, transmitters are but i'm quite impressed with them as i say this i would use with my fixed wings and use the ex external module it is i think it, it's retailing at about a hundred dollars i think so it's not exactly cheap but uh it's uh, it seems to be a well-built uh, piece of equipment and i think the other the micro and the nano um, transmitters are around $40 and as I say as I said just a moment ago that I think this is a great setup this this one here with the Zuro with the 4-in-1 and the uh, external uh, module for Express LRS and this is the one I'm, I'm going to be using. I do like this if you you, you want to uh, have a, your full-size radio here and you don't want this bulky unit sticking out there obviously this uh, this module would be uh, the micro module would be a, a lot better because it's inserted inside the radio well there we go that's my overview of the radio master express lrs6 uh, modules and i haven't i haven't actually flight tested them because i'm still having troubles trying to find somewhere to fly everywhere i go here in the uk I, i'm either allowed to fly drones or i'm either allowed to fly airplanes i can't fly both of them so which is a, a bit of a nuisance but I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have any uh, questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below and I will try to assist you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Before I go, I just want to say thank you to Radio Master for supplying the modules for review. And if you want to know any more information on the modules, I've left all the links in the description below. Mm -hmm.